Oh. Oh. Hey everybody, I literally just got home right now. I just, I was in China for the past two days attending Huawei's developer conference, which if you follow tech news, you already know Huawei introduced its own operating system that if successful could usher in a whole new era of Chinese tech. And today I got my hands on, or I guess not a, technically a hands on, like an eyes on, of the Honor Vision, which is the very first product to run Huawei's Harmony OS. Man, it is hot as hell. I'm gonna change all of these clothes. Okay, much better. So let's talk to Honor Vision. So Honor Vision, in a nutshell, it's a smart TV, which usually wouldn't interest me. I think smart TV is a little bit boring, but the Honor Vision is special because like I said, it is the first product to run Huawei's own Harmony OS, which immediately makes it historic because Huawei, a really giant company in terms of revenue made and how much they spend in R&D, Huawei building its own operating system is gonna change the landscape of global technology, whether or not it's a success. If it's a success, then Huawei will have built a third alternative to iOS and Android when Microsoft couldn't do it and Samsung couldn't do it. If Harmony OS fails, that could give the US government more bargaining power in trade discussion. So no matter what, Huawei launching its own software platform with its own ecosystem, it's absolutely huge news that will change not just the landscape of technology, but also political and global business. Okay, so the Honor Vision has a 55 inch 4K display with a max brightness of 400 nits. As you can see, the bezels are really thin. And on top of that, the overall thickness of the TV or screen is really, really thin too. I mean, just look at it. So just as the television, the Honor Vision has already got the fundamentals down, but Huawei and Honor definitely has more plans for the Vision. The Honor Vision is supposed to be an all-in-one smart hub, digital hub for your home. So just from there, through Harmony OS, you'll be able to connect it to your phone right away. You'll be able to transfer data between your phone and the TV. You'll be able to play games on your phone and have it broadcast on the TV. And you'll be able to use voice assistance too. But that's not all. Honor is looking at the Honor Vision as like a hub to the outside world. So check this out. There's a pop-up camera. So with this pop-up camera, which uh, pumps out 1080p resolution footage. So this pop-up camera, as you can see here, Honor thinks that people will be able to use it to have uh, video calls with family and friends. Like because of the large screen, you get, you know, it's a lot more immersive. You'll be able to see your relatives who may live far away, like, you know, in life size almost. A lot better than just doing it on a laptop or a phone. And because Huawei is such a large company, Huawei has the funding and the means to support app developers, at least those in China, to have them build apps for Harmony OS and for Honor Vision. So just today at the developer conference, I checked out this really crazy camera that can basically track my entire body's movements and posture as soon as I step into frame. So imagine this software running on the Honor Vision Fire Harmony OS. So this opens up a whole flood of possibilities for gaming. You can do like Kinect style gaming or like some type of AR experience with just the TV. So it's these kind of things that Honor's thinking of doing with the Honor Vision to kind of connect the world, or at least connect China. So because Honor Vision, it's a Huawei device, it is fully compatible with Huawei phone. So as you can see here, all you have to do is tap a Huawei or Honor phone onto the remote, and then immediately you can transfer whatever is on your phone screen over to the big screen. So this allows you to not just look at your photo gallery, but also if you want to go on Instagram, then you can be surfing Instagram watching on a 55 inch 4K display. Although I guess if the image is blown up that much, it might look a little bit weird. Another cool thing is you can broadcast your mobile game directly to the Honor Vision. And Honor says that the latency between the mobile device and the Honor Vision is only 50 milliseconds. So that's fast enough that you should be able to handle most games fine. Now you're playing first person shooters and you're a very competitive player, you might be annoyed with a little bit of a lag but for other games it should be absolutely fine and from my demo today you know the thing everyone's wondering about is how does harmony os look well it's a very light software so especially on a tv i you know you can't really see much it's just the home screen right there but everything moved pretty smoothly and huawei says that harmony os 
can move between large screen and small screen seamlessly. So Harmony OS, if it actually ends up running on Huawei phones, should look something like this. From the design language from EMUI 10, which I also checked out, it looks like it's mostly in line with how Google's material design is gonna look. So the Honor Vision, it's pretty cheap too. Like when I saw the TV today in action and all the specs and all the features, I thought this thing would cost like maybe a thousand, 1,500 US dollars, but no, it starts at, let me check, 680 American dollars. It sells in China starting next week for about 5,500 yuan. That's about 680 US dollars. So at this price, I think the Honor Vision is gonna be a hit in China. And obviously Huawei, as I mentioned in the last video, Huawei built Harmony OS to be an ecosystem for a smart TV and maybe smart watch, but not for its laptops and smartphones. Huawei, if possible, would still want to use Windows and Android on its laptops and smartphones. But if push comes to shove, if President Trump really just goes crazy and completely bans Huawei from ever using Google or Microsoft, then Harmony OS will be on the next Huawei smartphone and next Huawei laptop. But that is a emergency worst case scenario for Huawei. But you know, you never know because Donald Trump is not exactly the most stable person. So that's about it for now for this quick look at the Honor Vision and the first look at Harmony OS. I'm gonna have more videos coming up the next couple of days, including one on the Honor 9X, the Xiaomi Mi A3, and a couple of other surprises too. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.